Hey everybody. Today I think we're going to take a look at some new tools that I got uh, in the last couple weeks and maybe some uh, discussion at the end, a little bonus uh, discussion. Um, so first new tool, we're in the screwdriver drawer of course and as you can see we kind of did some uh, rearranging in there this morning uh, which only means with this empty spot right here that we have some new stuff coming but uh, today we're going to take a look at this this is a number one matco screwdriver in the blue and as you know we've talked about and it's all over the internet the Matco screwdrivers are made by Wit. These are the exact same screwdrivers, just different uh, different colors. But pretty sure when I bought this Wit set, which was these four and this one, bought them from KC Tool. I think they were like forty five dollars. Again. These wit screwdrivers do have warranty, but warranty process isn't super easy for us here in the States. So you are paying for some service and stuff with the Matco screwdrivers. This number one Phillips screwdriver from Matco after tax was $30. Um, it had been years since I'd been on a Matco truck. And it's went, again, years. But I remember them being fairly reasonably priced tools. After being on, have after having the Matco truck stop for the last probably three weeks, I think, that stuff is expensive for just a bunch of rebranded tools. We should probably get to <clears throat> talk about that here in a different video, but uh, anyways... This was very expensive, I thought, for a number one Phillips. I was thinking maybe 25, 25 or less. But um, can't complain too much because I did buy it. I told him to order it for me. I did like the color, obviously. So, uh, yeah, we picked this up. Awesome screwdriver. Love it. Just uh, completes some collection, uh, part of my collection anyways. And then we go over to, I think this drawer right here. We see a couple new things here. These are the Weira Craft Form kits, uh, but these were branded for Kloss. I sell parts for a Kloss dealer here in Nebraska sell farm equipment so uh found these i don't remember where i found these exactly so i but i ordered them i'll take this pouch or this this one out too they are very similar it just comes down to bits Boy, this Velcro is tough. Should have had this video prepared a little better. So, here it is. It's cloth branded. In the cloth green. And this one has a bunch of Phillips. Couple Phillips, couple Posi drives, a Torque uh, T25, and a flat. So, so yeah, really cool. Uh, I'd been wanting this uh, this screwdriver here from Wera for a while, and uh, then I saw them branded for Kloss. So I thought, heck yeah, we'll, 
we'll get these. So yeah, really cool. I also bought a couple for uh, for stock at work too. So they're sitting on the sitting on the shelf in the showroom. And then this one, again, same same screwdriver, just different bits. This one here's got a couple Phillips and then a bunch of Torx. So only difference in the two kits. Um, if anybody is interested, we will get you the Kloss part numbers. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think both of these had to ship from Germany. So, so on this kit here with the with the Torx and the Phillips no part number on that here we go for the Torx and the Phillips 226-0800 and for the one with the Phillips the positive drive and the flat and the one Torx 226-0810 so you can get a hold of uh, get a hold of a Kloss dealer with those part numbers. They can get you hooked up. They also have a bottle opener. I do not know the part number for that off the top of my head, but they should be able to find that for you. So that takes us down here to the three eighths and quarter drive drawer. You probably see it right there. Picked up a 15-inch Matco locking flex head 3H ratchet. In blue, of course. Um, really cool. I love it. Haven't used it so far. But uh, sounds real nice. This feels really nice. The finish of the ratchet is great. Um, the handle... The handle feels nice on it, which a lot of people agree. The thing I hate about it is this lock. It is so, I can't even, I've actually probably can't see. Yeah, right there. It took a chunk out of my nail playing with this thing yesterday, trying to get it to break in. I found if I wiggled the head back and forth. Yeah, I can't really do it with one hand. So I don't know. I don't know. I was watching a coon trucking video where they were on the Mako truck and that had gotten brought up. I don't remember. I think that was an older video, but he had mentioned that he does try to break those in. And if it does take effort like that, they need a rebuild kit, put in them into the, to the locking mechanism. So I don't know. We'll give it a while. Maybe get it, get some use on it and see if that see if that ends up uh, breaking in a little bit otherwise i'll have to talk to my macro guy and and uh get that fixed up but these are on sale right now um and since my macro dealer was new he was offering ten dollars off any purchase over a hundred so this was on sale for i think 188 so i ended up getting it for 178 dollars plus tax so I think it I I think it's a really well made ratchet I really do um the finish is great I think so they sound great um so yeah I I like it um hopefully we can get some use on it here um after harvest maybe this winter working on the scooter and stuff here in the garage and see what uh see what we really think of it so i don't know they you know they talk about the really thin head which has a really thin head on it um but yeah it's a it's a really nice ratchet so that brings me to our little bonus discussion here on ratchets as you can see here, we've got a, I think this is an 18 inch locking flex head Mac axis ratchet. Three eighths, uh, 
I think that's a 13 inch Pittsburgh flex head ratchet. This is an older, I've had this a long time, 3 8 flex head Mac ratchet. Here's the part number on it if anybody's interested. I did look on their website, they still make this. And here is a really old Mac or Mac Co indexing 3 8 ratchet. Uh, there's the part number. No, yeah, no, that's pad number. Sorry, I think that's the part number. BTR ten. Yeah, it must be a ten inch ratchet. Maybe had that a long time. It does look like Matco still offers this. So a discussion on really flex heads, I guess. Um, I have never before. These two ratchets here, the Matco and the Mac uh, Axis, I've never had a locking head, locking flex head ratchet. Um, I did have an instance with this one. I flex it. Dang it, now I can't remember. I think it was this ratchet. And then I also, probably my fault, should have known better, had a wobble socket on it too, probably a 13 or 15. And I think I got an angle on it too too much. This went, and then the then the wobble socket went and smashed my thumb bad. Lost the fingernail. It was it hurt really bad. So that is probably an instance where a locking flex head for me would have came in handy. But otherwise, I just in the years of turning wrench, I never saw a huge need for a locking flex head. Uh, I think design-wise, the Mac and the Matco have the best uh, locking flex head. That stupid snap-on one with that lever clear down here. Uh, got a couple guys at work that have big half 24-inch, uh, half-inch drive snap-on locking flex heads, and they fight those things constantly. The lever's in the way, and then the engagement is just terrible up up here at the head. I think this one's got great engagement. Uh, there's very little play in that one. It's actually way less play in the Mac than there is the Matco. But um, I don't know. That snap-on one seems so stupid. But this this one, I guess you could is a locking indexing ratchet, you know, got several positions. And this one I have had to use in different positions, kind of, try to get, you know, getting around a corner or whatever. But other than that, this one I really haven't had to use for what it's designed for. But, uh, and this one, you know, this one is old. This is an old ratchet. I probably have had this thing for 15 years. And I I don't ever remember tightening it. It's been a great ratchet. I've maybe had to have a head put in this thing. For some reason, I think I have, but I'm not 100% sure. And as you can tell, it's it's been used good, hard. So it's it's been a great ratchet. I love it. This um, Pittsburgh also been a great ratchet if you remember back to older videos i have the quarter the three eighths and the half and let the guys at work in the shop use them they used them for probably about a month and these things never skipped a beat i mean who knows you know maybe a little longer they might have failed but for the price and with harbor freight still offering that five dollars off coupon that has no expiration date this it's a no-brainer i mean you can tell they're lesser quality the big thing i can tell on this is that switch it's not very positive just it's really loose and it's just not not that great i mean it sounds really nice i mean it sounds real similar to the matco and it's it's not as thin as the matco i don't think no, it's not quite as thin as the Matco. It's close, but not quite. But I think I think this is a great ratchet for the money. 
I don't even remember what I paid for it. But, uh, and this Mac, uh, a lot of people have good things to say about the Mac. Uh, I like the locking mechanism on it. Uh, sounds great. This is another one that the lever, the switch, very positive. Just that thud. Sounds really good. But I think that's a great ratchet holding up really well. And the, the Matco, same way. This one doesn't doesn't feel quite as positive as the Mac. I mean, it, it, it's definitely positive, a positive click, you know, a detent, but it's not, not as solid, I should say, as the Mac. And then this older Mac here, just to turn the wheel. And same with this Matco. But these, these two here are old ratchets I've had probably had this one longer than the Mac, but great ratchets. Um, I guess where I'm going at or go, where I'm going with this is I, I think these are all really well bit built ratchets. I guess we could bring a snap on in here too. I don't have any a snap on flex head, but geez, we just bring, might as well bring these two in too. So this one here is an older, older snap on, uh, Get it in the camera here. I have to read that. FHL 80. So it's an older ratchet. That one's very positive. Sounds super nice. This is a great ratchet. I just think the snap where snap on fails is their lock on the locking flex heads. I just don't I don't think they're that great. This one here is an Astro Nano ratchet. So it's got Real tiny head. It is thicker, probably closer to, oh, it's not even quite as thick as the, well, just about as thick as the Mac. But smaller head, but it's got the 3 8 anvil in it. This one sounds real nice, too. This one feels a lot like the Mac Co. With uh, locking. But, uh, yeah, it feels real similar to the Matco. But uh, I think these are all great ratchets. Um, this one, this Mac one, was expensive. It's a it's a big ratchet. The Matco is expensive. The, the Snap-on is expensive. But um, I, I think they're all great ratchets. I think they all have their pluses and minuses. But uh, I think they're all great. These two are awesome. I don't know who makes this. Because I also I used to have a uh, a Mac in a quarter inch, same thing. It was just Mac branded, which just kind of irritates me. I it needed a head kit bad, and took it to my Mac dealer. He had no idea, never seen that ratchet before. Got to look, and Mac doesn't offer it anymore. Well, I can give you, I can sell you this one. Um, what yours was new. You just have to pay the difference. It was a flex head. I hated it. It was short. So I ended up trading it back in and, but didn't like it. But I now seeing, I saw a post, I think on like a Mac code group on Facebook guy posted these ratchets and told him the story and the comments and like, Oh yeah, you would have needed this kit. I'm like, Oh geez, should have kept that ratchet, done a little research. I should have just paid for a kit. But, uh, yeah, the, this thing's had a ton of use. Maybe had a head kit. I can't even remember. It might have had a head kit. But uh, I think all I've had to do to my snap-on, I broke the, broke the lever off using the ratchet as a hammer, maybe. So he had to just put a lever in it. Not a big deal. Otherwise, nothing's ever been done to that one either. So, and I don't know. I think I've shown this on camera, too, but. Uh, picked up this, not this exact ratchet, but picked up this, a ratchet just like this off the Snap-on truck for 40 bucks. It was beat. I mean, it had teeth problems. It was just super floppy, just beat to hell. And took him to my Mac guy and, 
He's like, oh yeah, we'll get you a new ratchet. So $40, I got a $147 ratchet, $127 ratchet. So that was pretty sweet. And that's a good little ratchet too. Just a regular flex head quarter inch. But anyways, just wanted to show some differences in these ratchets. Um, different, different lock mechanisms on the flex heads, um, just, just little things like, like the switch and, and, uh, the selector and just different ratchets that are in, in my collection, I guess. But, uh, that's what we got. All great ratchets. Um, I know probably people will have stuff to say about these Astros and the Pittsburghs. I think, I think that Pittsburgh's awesome. Um, especially for the money. Lifetime warranty. You got a Harbor Freight in your town? Why not? You break it, break it during the day, swing by on the way home from work, get a brand new ratchet. Just pretty simple. So anyways, look at some new tools. Uh, do have some hopefully coming as you, as we talked about in the screwdriver drawer. I do have some new tools at work yet that I got from Mac uh, two weeks ago. Um, so I have to show those. That was an awesome deal they had going on. I couldn't pass that one up. Tomorrow, hopefully have the Mac guy show up. Tuesday, have Snap-on show up. I did have some uh, something I wanted to get from Mac. Our, our Snap-on guy is about out the door, so we really don't have much use for him anymore right now. So anyways, that's what we're looking at today. Um, hopefully in next video, we got some more cool stuff to show you. Talk to you guys later.